Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Coloscope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So in the Astro Coloscope, we use three crystals that I've chosen from my crystal bag here. I throw those crystals into um, 12 houses to see which houses those crystals want to land in. And we're going to pick a colored bead from this bag here to see what color is a flavor for your month and we're going to take some other cards and colors as well just so we can get a full view of what's going to happen for you this coming August. So let's get started. Okay Capricorn, so Capricorn you have um, a range of different colors so we start out with um, Chrysoprase which went into your sixth house um, the sixth house is about your health and you know with chrysoprase it heals a broken heart so this is saying that um, you're being put back together again there's a sense of you being put back together again so even if your foot's been a problem or your hand's been a problem or you've been getting headaches that this is, is saying that whatever has been broken whatever has been um, causing you pain it's starting from the heart chakra and this stone is coming up to help you to heal so there's going to be some situations some events that will happen over this next month that will help you to heal your heart and this in turn will shift some energy throughout your body throughout you know different areas of your life um, the tenth of the month is the full moon and I keep seeing that in my mind's eye as being a key point for you. So around that full moon it feels like you're going to be letting go uh, of a lot of stuff and it, it, there's a sense of you moving on after that time and it, there's almost, it almost feels like something becomes very raw and then it becomes easier to handle and then it's almost by the end of the month, by the time of the new moon on the 25th, um, it, there is a sense of you being far more um, in tune with your life and far more kind of settled. Um, physically it, there is a sense of whatever has been going on it, it's, it feels like it's smoothing out that life is smoothing out yeah so the next color the next stone that came up is a blue lace, blue lace agate and this went into your eighth house um, the eighth house is uh, a house of legacies, um, but it's a psychic house. It's a Scorpio house usually. And so it has that connection to the hidden uh, and to um, energy behind the veil, to, to guides, to loved ones in spirit. Um, this particular stone is very much about um, cleansing your energy field and making you more aware, connecting, it's almost like plugging you in to the ethers. So I feel that, that over this month, you, you're gonna be, it's like moving up, moving up energetically and consciously as well. Your awareness is becoming much more heightened. And with this blue energy, blue is a, a color of communication. So I feel that you're gonna be communicating more with your guides, with your angels, with spirit, etc. But I also feel like you're going to be communicating more about yourself uh, and about who you are and about what's going on with you. There, there's a sense that you may have been holding back a little bit and when you get this blue and um, green together, they're about healing the heart energies. And when you heal your heart, you help to heal the planet as well. Um, with this blue energy, you are communicating about yourself, but you may also be communicating with others about what you see about them, not in a negative way. It, it feels like it more in a, a, a guidance way, in an advice way, but it's coming through your own inspiration, through your own inner guidance system. Um, so your intuition's really hot this month. Um, the final stone that came up is uh, a garnet. It doesn't look very red, but it has these beautiful kind of shots of um, jemmy red that goes through and it's a, a very heavy stone, the garnet. Um, this is a stone of health. It, it went into your 10th um, house 
of, sorry, your ninth house. It went into your ninth house of um, philosophy and higher education and travel. And when it comes next to this, because you had this in your eighth house and then this in your ninth house, um, I feel almost as if you're going to learn something. You're going to, you're going to find a secret. You're going to understand something that you may not have wanted to know about. Um, so, so it could be that you discover uh, a piece of news that you you didn't really want to know. Uh, but it, it's like it's coming from your intuition. It's going to make you feel a little bit heavy around that. But. You know, when I feel this, I feel almost as if you're going to throw it away and say, well, good rinse, and, and then you'll move on. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that wants to come up around this. I'm, I'm being reminded that it, it is a stone of health. Um, so, uh, and I seem to have been saying this a lot just recently, it's just, just drink more water, but I, I feel like you need to drink specifically something like lemon water or cranberry juice or something like that. There's a sense of flushing out your system that will flush out with, with something more than just water. Yeah, okay. So the bead that you got was a pearl. So when we have pearls, we think of those pearls of wisdom, but you know the, the clamshells that make the pearls, they, they have a little bit of sand, don't they? And it's like grit that, that's in their, in their, inside their shell and it's irritating and it, it creates this fabulous, beautiful pearl. So whatever is irritating to you that you're going to be getting rid of, you will recognize the pearl of wisdom that comes from it. Um, I also feel with this that there could be a celebration like a wedding that is coming up this month for you as well. Uh, some kind of special event that links with that pearl. I'm also reminded that this looks like the full moon. So going back to that 10th of August is an important time for you. Um, also towards the end of the month, right at the end of the month, um, it feels like there's some kind of gift, some kind of blessing that's, that's coming to you around the the 31st of August it's like that kind of feeling to it there's some kind of blessing that's coming up around then and I see green when I when I think of that I can see green leaves so um, it could be just something uh, like a new growth or a new birth something like that so let's see what color wants to come up for you you get two so you get a light violet and a darker violet and these are colors of transformation so it's like you are changing you are changing something in your life but something else is changing in your life without your your um, conscious uh, input so uh, that could just be your body that's changing and you're not necessarily putting conscious input into it um, I feel like it's something else though that's going on it feels like it's something around your home that there could be like your car there's something around your car or, or something uh, uh, around it's like a body that is a shiny body that is has chrome on it and um, that's what I see that kind of car look to it uh, and there's a sense of something's changing around that that you don't have any uh, impact on so hopefully that makes sense the other part of you changing is of course you're making a conscious change so the not having an impact on it could just be that it's getting dusty and and you don't have anything to do with that dust but it needs to be dusted that sort of thing so the card that comes up for you is set back and it's five of worlds so when you look at that card is there something you see in the card that uh, is attracting you. Whatever image is attracting you, ask what that message is for you. I see this image at the back, and what's interesting to me is that we just lost our cat, and that looks like the cat right at the back of there, and that would be the setback for me, a lot of pain and grief that comes from losing losing something. But then I see all this life in, in the front here, and I have to let go of that setback. That it's just something that happens and gotta go back into living so I feel that that is the message for you as well get back into life okay so that's it for this month's astro Coloscope. hope you've enjoyed it do leave a comment below and share it with your friends if the messages resonate for you they may well resonate for them as well 
Do check my website, sealwithlove.com. And of course, you know, I make lots of colorishes gifts. You'll find them in my store.sealwithlove.com. And if you want to um, have a deeper color reading, then check my website, the guidance section of my website. You'll find lots of different consultations. And one way that is very special and unique that you can connect with color is to have a soul rainbow silk made for you. I will make this for you with your own soul colors that I tune into. You can find out more about that on my website and in my store. Lots of colorishes blessings to you. See you next month. Bye.